Carrie Binkley. I am a, a local Wanakee person. I'm out here at Schumacher Farm, and my job today is to try to show people how to make maple syrup. The one, two, threes is find maple trees, get some taps or spouts, get some buckets or bottles, get a big tin to boil it in, have a place for a fire, get the firewood, boil it all you can outside, then finish it off in your kitchen, strain it, and put it in jars. First off, I need to let people know how you decide what a maple tree is from a basswood, from an elm, from a walnut, or anything else. So once you know what tree to tap, then I go over the basic equipment you need, how you do it, and how to finish it off and enjoy it. It's very simple, really. Um, we simply boil it in an old wash tub, which you can get at Farm and Fleet or wherever you want. The supports are fire bricks. The grates we have scrounged out of old stoves or refrigerators that are being thrown away, or from whatever you want. A six inch tree would take one tap. If you have a tree that's two feet in diameter, you could put four in that one. I'm often asked, do you need sugar maples? And no, you don't need sugar maples. Box elder is actually a maple. You can make syrup out of box elder sap. You can use silver maple, you can use red maple, you can use Norway maple. It will run as long as the days are above freezing and the nights are below freezing. So some years are wonderful and others are a week long. Some are great producers and we will get a dozen gallons of sap from one tree, others we might get four. If you read in books, it will always say 40 to one. We have found closer to 30 to one with our experience. No one to stop because the sap will stop running. It will also turn dark on you, and when the sap is a little bit discolored, your syrup will be really, really, really dark, and at that point, it's not too good anymore.